Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a video for you that is completely devoid of any redeeming intellectual value. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Nick, all your videos are, but today th th maybe a little more so than usual, because very often I'll show something off that's new to the channel that I've never reviewed before. I'll talk about the good, the great, the bad, the ugly. Might be a gem, might be junk, um, but nonetheless, I'll, I'll talk to you about that. I'll show you my opinion, and maybe you'll learn something from that. That's not what's going on today. The piece I'm going to show you is uh, something I've had on the channel before. Sometimes it's something more philosophical, I'll tell Tell you something about how the everyday carry world works, at least in my view, or I'll share a piece of wisdom that I've accumulated. I don't know. Sometimes that's what goes on. That's not what's happening today either. Now, today's video is pure and unadulterated knife pornography. I'm going to be real with you here. I'm just going to show off some really cool pieces. Um, And it all starts, actually, I'm, I'm building towards my recent acquisition, but it all started here. This is the Herman Knives Sting. This guy was sent to me, actually, by Polish Custom Knives, say, uh, the well, Polish company that sells custom knives. Aren't you glad I cleared that up for you? But anyways, uh, Polish Custom Knives is the, the, the dealer for Herman Knives. And Herman Knives is Bartosz Herman, guy over there in uh, Poland. As, <laughs> wow, I'm hard-hitting journalism over here. But anyways, uh, Polish Custom Knives reached out to me, sent this guy along saying, you might be interested in Herman's stuff. And I didn't know about the guy, but... Holy crap, I'm interested in Herman's stuff, right? This stuff is really cool, and this is no exception. This is the first piece I had on the channel, and, uh, you know, it had a proprietary pivot, which I didn't love, and a little tricky to disassemble, backspaces being a little tricky, but there's a lot to love about this knife. The blade was excellent, is excellent. Really nice, thin M390 blade, great edge on it. Action on it is pretty damn solid, right? It is a very reliable flip, absolutely a, a joy, and the machining on it, and the, the attention to detail is excellent. The fact that he's polishing each screw is kind of a great thing. So I was a big fan of the Sting, and it put Herman Knives on my radar uh, 100%. Um, then from there, I actually went to the Dragonfly. I no longer have my Dragonfly. I used that actually in a uh, as an incentive in a giveaway to support domestic violence shelters, um, and actually this Sting will be used in a similar way here before for too long. But nonetheless, um, the Dragonfly was a big knife. Absolutely. This was a gigantic freaking chunk of knife, but it was really well done. Again, the machining was excellent. The materials were great. It really, really impressed me. After that, I, I wanted to check out something a little bit more reasonably sized. Um, uh, Herman knives tends towards the big, and so for them, reasonably small is still three inches, but this is the Vespatilio. Um, and this is a slightly fancier knife than the ones, uh, than the Sting of the Dragonfly. This guy has a, a Timascus inlay, although note this big screw here in the middle there. It has a Timascus backspacer as well. You can see a little bit of layering in there. Timascus, of course, being multiple grades of titanium that are kind of fused together. And then when you anodize them, they turn different colors. This was another very impressive little piece with an action that is, frankly, better than that sting. Herman has grown in the action department pretty substantially, even from here to here. The knife was just beautifully machined. Everything worked really well. The inlays fit well. Absolutely stellar. This was a very, very nice little knife. Um, and so this absolutely kept Herman on the radar. After that, I uh, checked something else out. And that was this guy. This is the Ishtar. Um, this is one of the nicest knives I own. Um, and that's saying something. Cause I, and frankly, one of the nicest knives I've handled. Um, it is really, really nice in a bunch of different ways. Mechanically speaking, it is excellent. Um, at this point, Dime Herman's actions are as good as anybody else's. There's kind of that level of action at which, especially in a flipper, where it's just like, this is as good as it gets. There were other people who are also as good as it gets and maybe slightly different, but you're not going to really find better. And I would say at this point, it certainly wasn't there for the Sting originally yet, but by this point, absolutely, he was there. The blade on this guy is a Damacor uh, steel. It's made by the Damasteel folks, and it is some Damasteel on the outside here with, in the center, a core of a steel that is a little bit more wear-resistant and really, really nice. And you can see that core running right down the middle here. But you end up with a very, very nice figuring pattern. You've got a very nice titanium inlay here. Um, that, that is slightly proud. And note, by the way, that he's moved from having a big screw on the outside to a little tiny polished dude right here. And then this uh, clip on this guy is also a Damasteel steel, as opposed to the plain titanium on this guy. And then the machining, as always, is really impressive, but dialed up a little bit further. If we take a look at the pivot here, we see a very nice, cool little spiral pattern on the outside of the no longer proprietary uh, center pivot, 
which is great. This is a knife, and then, of course, a backspacer just showing off the beauty of the time mask. Is this was the knife that made me kind of feel like, and in fact, that's what prompted uh, the, the, this latest purchase, was, was uh, filming a video, and I don't even remember what one it was. You're planning for one. Oh, I think it was the joy video, uh, the knives that bring you joy and make you happy, whatever. And I realized that Herman Knives is a company that I am now kind of a fanboy of. I mean, it's not because... Well, frankly, it's just because it's freaking good, right? I can hand these to anybody, and they're going to be like, wow, that's an amazing knife. And so Herman Knives is a company that I think is doing some of the better work in the world right now in terms of CNC knife making. Um, is a dude, I suppose. Uh, and so the Ishtar really you know, put that home for me. It brought that home. Like, this is a really amazing knife. And so as I was doing that Knives That Made Me Happy video, um, I was reminded of something. And it made me think, you know what, that's maybe something I should continue to support. Because the nice thing about artists is, well, you get to support them if you've got the means to do so. And recently, Polish Custom Knives had um, posted up a, a couple of pictures and then a video of a, a particular knife. Um, they put a YouTube video up, and I remember commenting on that, like, oh, God, this is tempting. I'm about to make bad decisions. And then I, I put it down, like, no, 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 that's a lot of money. And then, so I, I let it go. And then they posted it again, I think. And then I made the mistake of telling my Patreon patrons, like, and they, oh, guys, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb really thinking about this thing. After I'd done the, the video with the Ishtar, it's was just like, I'm thinking about it. And then they, of course, being excellent financial advisors, encouraged me to do so. And I reached out to Polish Custom Knives and it uh, turns out it hadn't sold yet. And I broke. And as a result, I have ended up with this particular knife right here. This is a full dress Herman Knives Sting in Timascus and Damacor. And this is one of the most beautiful objects I own. Now, full dress generally in the knife world means that you're using fancy materials everywhere. And indeed, this is. Whereas on the Ishtar, there was a little inlay of Damascus. Here, yeah, the whole damn handle is Damascus. And then the backspacer, Damascus. The clip, Damascus. The other side of the handle, Damascus. In fact, the only place I can see that isn't Damascus is the lock bar. And that would make sense, right? Just having one grade. But he's taken the time to anodize it roughly the same color. So the handle is full-on a really beautiful material. Not everybody loves the look of Damascus, but that's okay. They don't have to. Um, it's my damn knife. But then the blade. The blade is ultimately kind of what got me um, because it's the Damacor. And again, Damacor is a really nice steel. I like it from the perspective of it really cuts well. I think it's it's very, very nice. In many ways, I think it's a little bit nicer than your conventional Damascus steel in, in that way. But what I didn't realize is just how well it was finished here. I, I sound like I'm gushing here, but if you take a look at this guy, it's it's worth gushing about. Um, This has an absolutely amazing polish on it. Uh, not a Polish, mind you, but a polish. Ah, get it? Um, but anyways, what you see here is that the, 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 the when you do any kind of a Damascus steel, you want a differential etch where one grade of the steel looks a little different than the other. But Urban, it appears, took the time to high polish the entire blade and then etch it. As a result, you end up with a very kind of muted reflection down here, although you can still see a finger, by the way. But then in the Damacor itself, you can get a full-on reflection. And that is absolutely amazing in person. And the combination of all of these various elements here, I'll show this off. This is just a very attractive area of the knife. Of all of these different kinds of wavy, what you end up seeing here is that the waviness of the Timascus with the Damacor, and you can again see that central part in the middle there, this is really, really cool. Again, I acknowledge it's not going to be for everybody's taste, but by God, is this amazing. This and the action on it is as good as the Ishtar. Really, really good, really snappy action. Oh, man. This is a piece that I don't have for review. I mean, I, I guess I'm reviewing it. I'm saying, dude, holy crap. But it's not a piece that, you know, brings a lot new to the table. It's not going to get me new videos. I guess this is getting me a video, but this is just a piece that is beautiful. And this is a piece that I bought because, damn it, I want that knife. And it's proof that I do him completely irrational. Um, but nonetheless, this is an absolutely astounding piece, and it shows, at least in my mind, a, a peak of knife making. I'm not saying this is the peak of knife making. I'm just saying this is one of the makers who is doing it right.
right? Um, this is one of the makers who is really doing amazing work. Not the only maker out there. There are other great, really great makers out there. But this right here, the ability to handle these materials really well and still do everything. By the way, note that it's still intricately machined on top of the Damascus. Yeah, this is just one of those things that reinforces my fanboyism for Herman. This is a really cool knife. This, too, is a really cool knife. And seeing the progression as I've slowly moved through Herman's lineup um, has been absolutely astounding. And so that's, that's really all I got for you today. This is a fancy knife. I like it. It's, by the way, not a cheap knife. Uh, retail price is about 2500 bucks. I know right now, oh my God, would you spend... Yeah, I'm an idiot. That's fine. You can let me know that down in the comments down below. But by God, I'm an idiot with a pretty knife, right? And in the end, isn't that what matters? But anyway, that, that's just all I wanted to do is I wanted to show off some really cool pieces from a really cool maker who I apparently am a giant fanboy of and apparently am a collector of. So um, keep an eye out for this sting. Um, I'll be putting that up for a, a charitable... Uh, this, this sting, not that one. That one's mine. This one I'll be putting up for a charitable giveaway at some point here uh, relatively soon when I get around to doing that next. But um, great job, Herman. Like, holy, I mean, holy crap. I mean, holy crap, but like, holy crap. Really well done. And I just figured... Show off something beautiful, right? So anyways, there you go. Patreon patrons, screw you for uh, my uh, my financial situation. Uh, and <laughs> and Polish custom knives, screw you too. But anyways, um, thanks everybody for your ongoing support. Hope you found this interesting. Let me know if you're interested in just these kinds of show off videos. And uh, have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now. I guess I've herminated this video. Uh, no. Yeah, that one stung. Bye now.